So today I want to talk to you a little bit about hangers. Um, really important. Um, we spend a lot of money on our clothes, so we want to look after them. Um, and actually when you're storing them, they can get damaged. And I go and look at people's ha wardrobes, um, and one of the biggest mistakes is they've got a big mishmash of different hangers, some of which are actually causing damage. I've just realised I haven't ironed my top, by the way. So, there we go. Um, so yeah, so a huge mishmash of different um, hangers, and actually they're causing damage to a lot of their clothes. So we should, obviously we're buying clothes, we want them to last us a really long time. So by having the right hangers, we can elongate their life and love them for even more. Um, even longer. So first up, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the hangers not to have in your wardrobe. First of all, um, it's the freebie hanger. So the hanger you get asked if you want when you go to the suit, when you go to the shops. Um, do you want the hanger with that? Just say no. Um, so first of all, they're plastic, um, but also they are usually fairly chunky, um, and most of them aren't massively strong, so will break quite easily. Um, and they tend to not be particularly smooth, so they'll have little sort of sharp edges that can catch on your clothes. Um, so just don't have them in your wardrobe. Leave them with the shop. Um, save a bit of plastic for someone else. Um, and don't have them in your house. So invest in your own hangers um, and try not to have these ones. Second up is my husband's favourite. Um, is the really chunky hanger. Um, he seems to always have these in his wardrobe. I think he gets them with suits, but obviously I get rid. Um, look how many items you would be able to get in there if you had slim line hangers. They take up so much space. Um, so if you buy something and it comes with this, leave the hanger with the shop um, and get your own hangers. If you get some hangers that I'm going to recommend, then actually we don't need a massive hanger like this to take the weight of it, the, the garment, even if it's a jacket. Um, so say no to those. Um, third up is my nemesis, um, is the, the metal hanger. These are so bad for your clothes. They will, and I'll show you on a, on a jumper, especially your knitwear. Um, they will give you marks on your clothes where the corners are, because they're really pointy, that you will struggle to get out. Um, so when you wear your, your jumpers, you will end up with that little kind of pointy bit on the shoulder. Um, they just damage your clothes. Yes, they're strong. Yes, they seem pretty slim line, but they're really angular. Um, they're not very smooth. They're not non-slip either, so things kind of tend to fall off them. Um, just get rid of them. Don't have them in your wardrobe, please. Um, and please, please, please also don't throw your hangers that you don't want in a dustbin. Please recycle them. Um, um, so the other one, which I would say try not to have in your wardrobe, is the wooden. So I know these are wooden, which is brilliant for the environment, but they're really chunky, so um, you won't, your clothes will be all squished together. You won't get, actually get that many clothes in your wardrobe um, if you've got a wardrobe full of these. Um, so yeah, so try not to have them. And again, you can recycle these or give them back to a shop um, or a charity shop or something, they can reuse them. Um, so that is your hangers. So the types of hangers that I recommend you have, there are two options. One option is slightly more expensive than the other, which obviously my favourite, my preference in my own wardrobe. Um, so there is first of all the um, velvet slimline hanger, which are actually, they're actually brilliant. Um, they're not as um, hard wearing as the other hangers I'm going to recommend, but they will last you a long time if you look after them. And they're actually really reasonably priced. So it's about £18 for 50 of these. And if you get the same hangers in, your, in the whole of your wardrobe, it will look nicer, be more pleasing when you go into your wardrobe each morning. But also, they really do save you a ton of space. Um, get ones with a swivel hook as well. That's really important because when you put your items on, you can then just make sure everything's facing in the same direction. Um, so these ones you can put your scarves on, they're non-slip, so you can put your dresses on, they'll protect the shape of your jumpers and your jackets as well. Um, so velvet slimline, um, really good, reasonably priced, um, and yes, they are plastic um, and velvet coated, but again, if you have these in the whole of your wardrobe, they will last you, um, they're not single use, so they will last you um, a long time. 
Um, and you can also you can get some really nice coloured ones, by the way, as well, if you don't want grey. Um, the second one, which is my favourite, is plastic coated metal hangers. So these are really strong. Um, they will last you. So I know they're expensive. These cost about 80p per hanger. Um, so I'm gradually changing all my, all my um, hangers to these. But once you've done it, it, you've got your hangers, that's it. These will last you a long time. You won't be getting those freebie horrible hangers from shops when you go because you won't need to. Um, and these will really protect the shape of your garment. So there are a few different types. These are uh, knitwear hangers. Um, and as you can see, they're curved. So what it means is it protects the shape of the shoulders in knitwear because if you're not folding your knitwear, um, it's actually really impressionable. So if you have them on the wrong hanger for too long, it will um, damage your knitwear. Um, well, you won't be able to get the shape back. Uh, I'm actually going to show you on. I've actually put one hanging up already, I've just realised. So, yeah. Um, as you can see, you're not going to get that point in your shoulder with this hanger. Uh, they're non-slip, so again, nothing's going to fall off them in your wardrobe and end up down the bottom with your shoes. Um, yeah, they're really good. So that's your knitwear hanger. Um, the other two, so these are my ultimate favourite. These are the slimline. They're so thin and they're so strong. You can get so many clothes in your wardrobe um, with these. Um, and they're non-slip. So again, you know, with the, the plastic ones that you get from the shop, you've got this bit on that you then sort of try and hook your straps onto and hope they don't fall off. Uh, none of that. These, yeah, it's just, they're really good and they are really strong. Um, they will actually take, uh, I've got a jumpsuit on this one, they'll take a lot of weight uh, and they'll save you so much space. So those are those. Um, and then finally, there is a slightly um, thicker version of that, um, which is stronger. So potentially for your jackets, um, probably the items that you were putting on this bad boy, they'll go on these, which are slightly slightly thicker um yeah really strong um and again they are thicker but they're still thin in comparison to all the other hangers um and again once you've got so say for example you decide actually you're going to spend a bit more money and you're going to go for the plastic coated metal hangers um i'll show you it just looks so much nicer when you open your wardrobe when you've got them uh you've got the same type of hanger throughout your wardrobe um and yeah and then you've got your velvet ones uh, again really thin um so yeah so those are the two types of hangers that i would recommend the that one also comes in a in a trouser hook um yeah so in summary i would say just try and have the same type of hanger throughout your whole wardrobe. It will make you feel a lot nicer, it will make your wardrobe look a lot nicer. Um, but also, once you've chosen the type of hanger that you want, um, just keep reusing your hangers and just say no to all the ones that kind of come with garments or someone lends you something or gives you something and it comes with a hanger and you shove it in your wardrobe. Just give them back to the person or recycle them, but don't let them wind their way back into your wardrobe because all this kind of mishmash of hangers, it's not only, um, doesn't look very nice, but it is actually, some of these hangers, like I mentioned, are damaging the clothes. Um, and then finally, if you are getting rid of hangers, please, please, please don't throw them in the dustbin. Um, recycle them so there's some fantastic places that you can take your hangers to or they'll come and collect um, them from your house um, and they'll recycle them. So um, a good option if you're getting rid of hangers and I will um, put the names of some of those places in uh, in my Instagram page. That I hope that's helpful. Um, and I hope you found that useful. Thank you, bye.